Now we're going into game number two. It looks like great minds think alike. They elect to pick nature as well. I pick nature here, and we are both playing nature. My deck is more or less mid-range. I wouldn't call it control, but it's kind of got some fast things to it. This is a very good good hand. I can play this as an aggro deck this, this game for sure. I am going to be somewhat conservative on turn one. You could argue using the pip, but I have a lot of six drops. We've already seen myself draw Sudden Bloom. Getting out the hog and the beetle on one, just, it's okay. It's not bad. And our opponent here has disconnected. So hopefully they get back here. Obviously, we're going first with a, a pretty good draw and, you know... It's, it's awkward just being, you know, me being the tournament host for a situation like this. <laughs> Disqualifying my own opponents. Uh, it brings brings back conspiracy theories. So I would prefer if he just played and lost. It's a lot less conspiracy that way. Though I think chat would prefer the conspiracy. Everyone loves a good conspiracy theory, don't they? All right, he's back, and he's back with a good play. He's got the Black Jaguar in play. So that makes me wish I played with the, with the Wild Hog, actually. So here, this, this line is going to look ugly, and they are going to achieve some sort of value on this play. But I can't let them just peel this. It's, it's just bad, bad for business. So they effectively got two charges off of my Faith Lane, spent one less mana, uh, but I do have two charges left on my faith one. I took, I just ate the six points of damage because I just don't care. And they have the Marsh Walker and a double Marsh Walker. Wow, very good open for uh, Batman here. We have the option to play the Blade Fly. The issue with the Blade Flies is they kind of just get picked off here. I would like for the Wild Hog to be able to pick off one of these Marsh Walkers, and we might play Pack Succession next turn. So we're going to conserve our pip here. Sudden Bloom looking really bad in our opening hand here. Great open for our opponent. They're pipping out to four to a big frontline minion. So this is going to be a pretty decent and interesting moment here. The pack succession. What am I going to get? What's going to hit the Fabian Brawler? That is going to be the big question for the situation. And we're going to just go right to it. To it and we get a 5-5. Five, five. That is a great result for me. We're going to try to have the hog hit one of those, and it does not. This doesn't really want to hit either of these, so we're just going to sit there on that minion and pass. See, if we had actually hit there, we could have double hit and cleared one of the broccolis. But this is a strong card. A Moonlight Charm, very annoying card. Very annoying card indeed. They're making a correct decision here in, in taking some time off to peel the badger, or they're not. I... I don't understand committing one attack there and then being like, I'm not doing the second attack. They got me confused there. We draw Sudden Bloom, which honestly might be one of the worst cards in the deck we could have drawn in this situation. So we definitely know that we want to eat a, eat a Marsh Walker with this. That is an easy decision. And if this hits here... Okay, so if this hits here, we can hit here. We can ruin a strength here and try to hit here. All right. So the way we... Oh, wait, we can't do everything. Hmm. If we, if we go face, we can buy the ruin of strength. But this is still somewhat problematic. I'm going to play the rabid bear without the frenzy, hold back on this minion, and they're going to probably buff here. Ideally, that this this attack still exists. Ideally. They have Aspect of the Penguin, and they're going to make this minion really, really big. And we're staring at this Rune of Strength in the Sanctum. This can be a game-winning minion for our opponent. Think, look at all this confused stuff we have in play. This is just going to be an absolute, complete headache to deal with. And, and can I deal with it is going to be the question... It's going to get buffed from the Moonlight Charm. And this can be an absolute game wrecker. And they can't quite yet afford the Rune of Strength in the Sanctum. And what we want to do here is we want to buy the Rune of Strength. 
we can apply it here, but that doesn't really accomplish anything, does it? I'm going to try to go face with this guy, which does let us purchase this from the Sanctum here. We can, we can, we can play this. The, the issue here is this this marsh walker will be taking over the sudden bloom next turn could be a key moment for me we'll get something twin strike and plus four plus four and i'm just gonna go ahead and attack with the badger because it's not a bad result if the badger dies very interesting moment in this game obviously they're buffing this they've got aspect of the pangolin on the marsh walker this is a type of minion that can just absolutely take over the entire game. It's going to run into here and take almost no points of damage. Very, very effective. Now, what I want to do is I want to clear off th this minion and this minion so my sudden blooms are less bad. And I, honestly, killing off this minion is good, too. If I can actually get rid of these three, it's a good thing. So, okay, Penguin's interesting, too. Very interesting turn here. This goes face. Ruins or drains immediately. This goes there. And I would like this to hit here, but it doesn't. All right. I think we got to see where the Southern Bloom hits. It hits there, which is one of the worst places it could go. And then it hits the worst spot that it could hit. Oh, boy. This is this is why we don't play Nature Chat. This does not listen. <laughs> this is just like a comedy of errors at this point. This is, I think, I think what they call a tragic comedy. Very tragic, not very comic. Oh boy. I mean, I think they have to do that attack. And you know, with the archer, very tough decision. I'm gonna go face because there's lines where we win the game by going face. It's probably gonna be difficult for him to kill everything. Though, I mean, this attack here, that's a problem. <laughs> Flat out a problem. Yep. So we got five extra points of damage by going face, then, then running in there. And that hits there, which is definitely the correct decision. We're definitely going to be playing Sudden Bloom. But then we gotta hope we don't hit the Marsh Walker very, very early here. Yep, that's problematic. The thing is, the Sudden Bloom on this doesn't accomplish anything, and of course we don't even get the opportunity to do that. This will keep regening up, and we're in trouble this game. Probably going to lose. Not a, not a great game here. This is a very problematic minion. See where this guy hits. Hit there. Alright, I mean, this just finishes it off, though. So I'm trying to think through my deck. How do I deal with this? And I don't think I can. I think that Marsh Walker just flat out wins them the game. They're pipping to seven, which is a scary number to pip to. I guess if I get Veil Warden Minotaur and then get something useful off of Veil Warden Minotaur, that would be good. Okay, that's a problem pl problematic minion. I can attack to the face play Sudden Bloom, and then hit here, which doesn't feel very optimistic. Um, I'm trying to think if there's a way I can get a wider board, but I don't think there is. So this... This goes face, this goes here. Of course, the extra damage hits there. I think next turn we have to play like Blade Fly and Rune of Life. Another front line is pretty good for them. And this guy is gonna get even bigger. This, this Broccoli is winning, flat out winning them the game. And there's nothing I can really do about it. I can play this, which kind of delays them one turn. But doesn't really get me anywhere in this game, does it? 
I think the only thing I can do right now is play this and then gain three health, which could in theory have me survive at one. I was trying to hit there, <laughs> failed. So I'm just looking for miracle ways. If, if this, if this is, so basically here's the line. Okay, that, that line doesn't exist anymore. I was gonna say the line was if we had played Pangolin, killed the minion, and then all three went face, we could win with Form of Power. That line itself was very optimistic and isn't indeed impossible at the moment. So right now our opponent just has lethal. There's no way to prevent it. There, I mean, we're at one for for, for for one for one for one point. We're at one. They can peel, and then this minion does kill, indeed. And is there anything I can do to really make this situation spicy? No, there isn't. There's nothing I can do here. 